Okay, so one of the best villains in Doctor Who is rarely ever talked about. The Master. <laughs> the Master is a fellow Time Lord, and he is the antithesis of the Doctor. Where the Doctor would spread peace, the Master wants to conquer. Where the Doctor would use diplomacy, the Master would use mind control and manipulation. Uh, the Master was first portrayed by Roger Delgado, who, let's face it, <laughs> had the perfect look for the Master. I mean, uh, he doesn't even need to speak. You can just look at him and know he's trouble. Uh, but in reality, Roger Delgado was apparently a super friendly guy. He was well-loved by everyone and a gentle soul, which makes his performance of Doctor Who all the more impressive because he was never giving off the warm, fuzzy vibes as the master. Uh, but as much as I liked Roger Delgado, my favorite master is the version played by John Sim. Uh, I am a sucker for a well-written and well-acted part, and although John Sim does not strike me at all as intimidating in appearance, he really made the master an unpredictable and kind of unhinged nemesis. Uh, what John Sim did with the master was really clever, and I love characters like this. At first, he comes across as silly and lighthearted, so you're drawn to him and you like him because he's so charismatic. But just like that, he'll switch gears and show his true colors. And uh, that's how the dance continues. He draws you in with charisma and then will eventually snap again. So everyone around him is just on eggshells and unsure what to think. Uh, not someone you'd want in your day-to-day -day life, but for a villain, ah, mwah, chef's kiss. Again, the best villains are the ones who cannot be beaten. You're equally matched. Uh, the master is the doctor's equal when it comes to knowledge and the ability to travel through time and space and the ability to generate. So all in all, it's hard to get the upper hand when up against the master, which is why he most certainly makes the list for best villains of Doctor Who.